Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joe with electricalsupplycenter.com. We welcome you here today and we're going to introduce uh, a product called heat shrink connectors. Now, heat shrink connectors are uh, completely different than a standard connector, which you can see here. These are vinyl butt connectors made out of a plastic material and these are primarily uh, a nylon material which is a better grade they're elastic they stretch so uh, you don't necessarily crack the insulation of a PVC type connector uh, depending on the tool that you use there's a tool that has what we call a uh, compression type crimp it's curved on top and bottom so it puts equal pressure on the outside of the connector uh, this right here is called an indented crimper. If you use that on a vinyl or a plastic type connector, it will most likely crack it and expose the interior connector. Uh, and that you don't want because it can short out and cause electrical failures. Now, we talked about the vinyl, nylon, and these are all heat shrink connectors which are commonly called a crimp on style. Okay, now we're going to show you how to actually uh, apply the connector onto the wire. First, you want to strip the wire. Uh, you don't want to exceed uh, the halfway point here, so we're talking maybe three eighths of an inch. So strip uh, no more than three eighths of an inch off it. It depends on the connector. Some of them are shorter than this. We have uh, all American made product and uh, they have long barrels, but there is a stop in the middle and you can't push the wire past that point. You don't want any exposed back in here. You want to insert all the copper strands as much as you can into the barrel itself. See there, it goes right in. Perfect fit, uh, no jam problems, uh, and it's nice and snug up against the barrel. And that's what you want, because you don't want to expose any of the copper stranding. Now, next step is to choose the, the proper crimp uh, location on your tool and in this case it's right in here where it says 22 to 14 gauge the blue is 14 and 16 so it fits right in that range uh, so let's do a nice solid crimp with the compression style crimper once the crimp is complete you'll notice that it uh, it has a, a curvature like a half moon on each side and that's really what you're looking for but to make sure you want to do a test a strength test and kind of pull to make sure that it's a good tight fit and it doesn't slip out of your connector uh, now once you apply heat to this it's going to act as a strain relief which is uh, a very valuable benefit over a standard type connector you don't have that that uh, ability to to function as a strain relief so uh, it has a dual purpose not only does it completely insulate and make it airtight and resistant to chemicals and uh, uh, moisture but it also acts as a strain relief which is good if you have any stress on it you apply heat you don't want to get too close because it can burn the wire you notice that it starts to shrink immediately you don't have to have a commercial heat gun. I mean, you can use uh, uh, this particular one here. is commonly used in the painting industry for peeling paint. But it's just a commercial, everyday uh, heat gun. Uh, a hair dryer would not produce enough heat to, to shrink down properly. So you want to use something that produces more BTU. Well, you can see by looking at the connection, there's the glue is starting to uh, come out of the end there, which means that uh, the adhesive inside has melted to a point where it forms a complete bond and a seal. Now, you see how simple that is? Took a few seconds. You've got a good solid connection. You could you could actually put that in acid chemical salt water and it's not going to penetrate the wire and that's the beauty of having a heat shrink uh, connector so you can see uh, the glue coming out there as well
We're going to zoom in on this so you can get a closer look at it. Okay, now we're going to move on to the conclusion and basically we want to review some of the connectors that uh, I didn't talk about earlier. Uh, these are your standard crimp on style. This connector as you can see has a ring in the middle that's actually solder. The heat shrink element or the heat shrink tubing itself is uh, made up of the same material as this one except uh, it has a solder ring in the middle so there's no crimping required. So what you would do is insert your wire in each end and overlap them in the middle and apply heat like we did on this connector and this solder ring here melts down and forms a solder seal as well as sealing it on each end of the connector onto the the wire so it has a completely uh, insulated connection. And then there's a third type that we're not showing here but we do stock and that's called a multi-link connector which does a combination of the both. Uh, you crimp it and you can also solder it. So it has a connector inside with a, a solder link and so you can double ensure yourself that uh, this connection is not going to fail at any point along the way. But in reality uh, we've always been very satisfied with the standard crimp as long as you properly crimp it using the correct tool. We have a selection of tools that you can see on our website and uh, all these products here are available online. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go to electricalsupplycenter.com and uh, you'll notice the pricing uh, is established at our everyday low prices but for today uh, we're going to extend our promotion through the end of August and we're going to allow a 20 percent discount off of each one of these connectors. 20 percent off uh, and it's, a, it's an excellent opportunity to upgrade your electrical connections on your boat, trailer, uh, equipment, your truck, RV, uh, or any attachments that you make to your battery. Whether it's an accessory of some type, it's always best to have a good insulated protected crimp. So please check us out on electricalsupplycenter.com. Uh, we'll take real good care of you. We have excellent customer service and I guarantee you that you'll probably rate us as one of the highest on the on the internet as far as customer service. I know that uh, good customer service is very hard to come by these days and we've excelled way beyond uh, normal expectations. So give us a shot and I, I believe you'll be happy with the results. Thank you and we'll see you again next month. Thanks for tuning in to electricalsupplycenter.com.